Hello, my name is Nicholas Palumbia, and I am one of the programmers on the education game that we are doing for MindRight Studios. And right now, I'm going to show you the archery and spelling games that we have right now. So the archery game is a more basic math facts game where the students will go and they have the bow moving across the screen and they have to go and shoot the correct answer to the question that appears. So, it would be this one. They get it correct, they move to the next one. A wrong answer results in a X, which is a strike, obviously. And even misses do. And the game ends and they get two strikes. That was just a brief for that one. And then the spelling game is... These students have to pick the first, they have to pick the correct spelling of the, of the words. So in this case, it would be the top one. And they have to actually go out and spell the word. And as they're going, and they click a wrong one, and they, they spell it wrong, it gives them a mistake. Ten mistakes means the game is over. So you keep playing, they get it correct, and it goes to the next word where they have to pick the rex the next word so let's just say they make their 10 errors all right they made 10 mistakes and it brings them to the end screen those are the two games that are pretty much finished up they just need some final touches we're going to add levels to those ones soon and now we have the reading game which we have just kind of started as you can see there's not much to it right now it's literally just a sentence on the screen but we have the sentences restarting or randomizing sorry not restarting and so the, the students will have to actually go and act these things out act these sentences out so they'll read the story and then they will have these sentences to act out and it randomizes it every time we have preset stories, so whenever they play the game, it will randomize which story they're given, and then it has different storylines, and each thing is randomized. So, for in this, this line example, it, it would be, the two friends played baseball for 31 minutes until they got too tired. Now, in this sentence, the things that would be randomized were the sport, which in this case, it was, it was baseball, and the number of minutes that they played, which in this case was 31. And then in this one it is the color of the couch and the length of the movie. So those are the games that we have working on right now. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.